now we're going to build on our first video of demonstrating how to create uh, a Joomla site in the Azure portal without any code editor and connecting it to a MySQL instance running um, in a container instance in Azure. So now we're going to create an app service that connects to the same MySQL instance running in a container. So this is how you do it. Uh, in the search bar again, just search for app service. Create a new app service. Select your resource group. Just going to put in the same resource group. Um, we'll call it app Joomla. Should be unique across all of Azure. Uh, we're going to use a Docker container running Linux, and in the region is US. That's perfect. Uh, this is perfect as well. We can just select. Um, a particular size I'll just select something standard um, yeah the cost is not so much I'll delete this afterwards Run, zone redundancy we don't need um, moving forward to docker a single container a docker hub um, and the image that we're going to use is the same image the latest version of Joomla the latest tag there that's perfect next networking uh, we don't need that monitoring i highly recommend that you actually use app insights okay we're set to go um we'll need you as you can see here um we didn't set up any um, connection strings to our MySQL instance. We'll just set that afterwards in the configuration tab. Let's create this resource. Okay, now that the resource has been deployed, we're just going to go to the resource. And here's the resource. It says it's running. Um, let's just see what will happen if we click this because we haven't configured any environmental variables. It's going to open in a new tab. It shouldn't work really. Um, okay. Uh, we're just going to go back to the Azure portal and um, configure this. In the left hand pane, go to configuration here. So we can set our environment uh, variables. Same as before. Um, so what they call application settings, these are your environment variables. Uh, so we're going to set them here. So just create a new application setting. We're just going to use the same as before. Uh, as you can see, it, it even timed out and gave an error here. Um, so yeah, mainly because um, we didn't provide. I'll show you how to actually see the particular error. So just enter your host and our host is MySQL. This is the MySQL database called MySQL Joomla. Okay, that's set. The next application setting is the database name. We set it to MySQL Joomla. The next setting after that is the database um, password. All right, so we set these three. We're just going to save our changes. Continue. This is going to restart our um, app service while it's restarting our app service um, let's just look at the error the more error details regarding this particular application error 
on the left hand pane if you scroll down there is a log stream just scroll down or just search in here so if you go to log stream this will give you all the docker details regarding the error so this one is not helpful for site joomla has exited failing site start just scroll up a bit for more details look at this now there's more information right here uh, by the way you just look for error here it's info 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 and then here's an error here here's an error missing joomla db host and there we go there we go there we go so that's perfect that's perfect uh we have already said these and we're waiting for it to um okay look at this now it's successful um then it's ready to serve requests let's see if this actually works you scroll up and then go to the overview page and you click on browse wow look at this the reason why it's actually allowing us to install um, a second joomla site is because of the table prefix you can just have two sites in one database so let's just close this and compare this there's another joomla site that's running in an azure container instance and this one is running in an azure app service so let's just name it something creative set up login data we're just going to do the same as we did with the other one okay. of course they can be different set up a database connection as you can see the prefix is different the database type should be mysql the host is going to be our fully qualified domain name uh, for our mysql um, instance so it's mysql uh, joomla there we go the username we used root and the password we used a complex password the database name we called mysql joomla creatively so this we can leave as is install joomla beautiful so it's up and running this is in an app service so this is perfect let's just make sure we can actually open this perfect here we go we have my virtual software app service um, and then we have my virtual software both of them um, using the same database um, if we go to the azure portal under configuration of the app service and you scroll down under db host show the hidden value this is mysql dash joomla dot east us dot azure container dot io if we navigate to our container instances and go to our container instance and navigate to containers under settings and go to properties and under environment variables the environment variable that we set here for joomla db host is exactly the same as we have in our app service so that's how you set up um, joomla in azure the main differences in running it as an app service as opposed to running it as a container instance is that um, container instances are cheaper although you have less power for example regarding security and scaling um app services cost more uh, because you have to pay for your app service plan unless you go for the free tier which might be 
slow for you um and you'll periodically just um discard any saved states so that's the free tier of uh, app services for app services you also have things like backups and the likes so you have more power in app services than you do in container instances although if it's a quick uh, proof of concept or so uh, go for container instances definitely and just for your own learning as well um go for container instances try them out i know azure has introduced container container apps as well just to bridge that gap between container instances and app services by giving you more power and those container apps can actually um communicate more with more azure resources so yeah thanks for tuning in remember to subscribe and like the video bye for now